Okay, I'm Ken Langland. I'm a professor in the agronomy department and uh, Center for Aquatic Plants at the University of Florida IPAS. We're here uh, today in Sarasota, Florida to talk about uh, an invasive uh, tree, uh, carrotwood, Cupaniopsis nanocardioides. It's an invasive tree in Florida. It occurs mainly in south central Florida and down uh, through the southern part of the state. It was placed on the Florida Noxus weed list in 1999, which makes it illegal to introduce, possess, transport, or uh, sell it in the state. Now let's look at some of the details. Carrotwood is an evergreen tree that can be either single trunk or multi trunk. The outer bark is dark gray and smooth. The tree is called carrotwood because it often has an orange colored inner bark. Carrotwood leaves are compound, alternate, and usually even pinnate, but they can also be odd pinnate. Petioles, or leaf stalks, are swollen at the base. The compound leaves are made up of 4 to 12 stalked leaflets that are oblong, leathery, glossy, yellowish green, and measure up to 8 inches long and 3 inches wide, with smooth margins and tips that are rounded or slightly indented. Numerous white to greenish yellow flowers occur in branch clusters to 14 inches long from late January until March, depending on the weather. Fruit are the most striking identifying characteristic, being a short stalked woody capsule to one inch across, with distinctly ridged segments that are yellow orange when ripe in April and May. Capsules split open to expose three shiny oval black seeds peeking out of a yellow to red fleshy sleeve and later turn brown. And one of the big problems um, with, with natural areas is that fish crows feed on the seeds and they disperse the seed, they, they feed on these trees in urban areas and then they come out and they roost on these coastal islands and they carry seeds out here with them. These are the Edwards Islands in Roberts Bay. This is actually one of the first places uh, that we found carrotwood escaping from cultivation and becoming invasive. Even though carrotwood was placed on the Florida Noxus weed list, there's still numerous plants in landscapes and urban plantings. So to help protect natural areas, uh, what we really need to do is learn how to identify this plant when we see it in our landscapes and to remove it. 